their work. Now, we're going to head on down the way here and meet our friend Jennifer Vrains. And where do you see this? I've never seen three-dimensional acrylic before, but uh, Jennifer, you really are piling it on there. Uh, this is These are birch trees. I'm not really a horticulturist, <laughs> but they look like birch Aspen trees. And birch. Okay, and very good. They're so pretty. Boy, in the fall, they get so pretty and gold. Uh, sort of a side view of this really shows what you're up to. What's, uh, what's your aim? What are you trying to so bring to the I viewer? I feel like you're in the forest, like you're laying on your back looking up through, to the sky, through the trees, and this is the angle of that kind of upwards look. Yeah. Just be so, yeah, go ahead. There you go. He's looking at, there you go. Yeah. That is super realistic. Yeah. Yes. I, oh, gosh, there's something crawling on me. I think it was, is that a chigger? I don't know the, I know the difference between a chick, a, t a tick or a chigger, but I don't, I don't like anyway. Anyway, um, the, the trunks are awesome. They're so thick. How do, you, uh, how do you decide when to stop? Oh, that is the question of the day. I'm never really done until it's shipped out of here. Yeah. I put it on my wall sometimes for a few days and keep looking at it, and I put it back on the easel, and I paint on it some more, that kind of thing. But I kind of know. I mean, I build layers and layers of thick texture. Mm -hmm. I sculpt it on with my palette knives. See this bad boy? Yeah, yeah I do see that. Big. And I do this. These are my favorites. Oh, gosh. So it's kind of like sculpting. And see how thick that is? So I yeah. want the tree to really protrude three-dimensionally. Yeah, it's really and The impressive. knobs and knots to come out. Sure. Let, let's take a look at some of your uh, other works uh, here as well. And uh, it's you're from Medford. Uh, come with me. Uh, Oregon. But uh, you you paint scenes from all over the world, right? I, I love France, the lavender field. You've been over there? Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, and Tuscany. The, the now, does it really field. look like this? Are these no, fields it's, it's, that... You lovely have, and uh, purple. You have to time it right. In July is when it's all full bloom, mm -hmm. and you can drive for hours and see field after field of gorgeous purple, which is the lavender. Yeah. Well, this uh, this piece right here. Let me step aside so we can get a good look. I is it okay to touch it? Yes. I'm, I yes, I welcome to. people to touch it. It you is can't help so. Yourself. Yeah. You really you want to. Uh, it's a uh, very beautiful <laughs> beautiful way to uh, to do your I work. Like to feel like actual bark, or if it's a lavender field, actual sprigs of flowers or poppies that you can pick, kind of that feeling. Yeah. So it's well, all uh, thanks for sharing all your talent with us. And uh, you'll be out here for the duration. Yep. Ten it's weeks. Ten Have you ever weeks. been at a show like this? Well, you know, I know you've been here before. Are there others I don't that... think there's an, another show quite like this. Yeah. It's a one of a kind experience. A hundred artists all doing different things and we're experts in our craft and so it's really professional. And then, look, done. everyone's as nice as Jennifer is. Uh, thanks for again sharing. Yeah, come see a, is right. And the, you'll be out till what 